I just want to start this video off by saying thank you so much for 97k subscribers, you have no idea how much that means to me, you guys are legends and the support has been insane. I can now change my clan tag on Call of Duty to 97k because that's how we've been keeping track. Anyways, how's it going everyone, my name is Neon and I'm back with another Call of Duty glitching video. I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and get camos and weapon XP and rank XP right now completely solo, so make sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to keep yourself up to date on all the brand new Call of Duty glitches, especially when something gets patched so you can keep up to date when something new comes out. If you need help with glitches as well, make sure to join the Discord server in the description down below. The Discord server has been insane recently. Did you know you can get your hands on all the mastery camos right now on Black Ops 6 absolutely instantly? You can get yourself multiplayer bot lobbies, multiplayer ranked boosting lobbies, max weapon levels on absolutely every gun in the game all over at damnmods.com. You want something on Call of Duty? Don't worry, he's got you covered. There's so many things to choose from over there. He's got so many good reviews. He's safe, he's trusted, he's fast. You really need to check him out. The link's in the description. Code Neon for up to $100 off. Okay, you beautiful people, to start this off, you want to pick a gun you want to get obviously camos on, so your headshots, your critical kills and also for your gobble gums if you have wonder bar put that on it is very useful you don't need it but it's really good for this glitch you also need to have the augments for the melee macchiato on screen that's the triple shot and also the strength training augments you also want to have the burst dash augment for the ether shroud as well if you want to know how to get augments it's literally xp based so put your research on get in do the boat glitch on terminus if you don't know how to do that it's on my channel and get some research done to get these augments unlocked now you want to simply head into a game of liberty falls when you're in there go next to the bowling alley and you'll see behind the bollards there's an X. If you shoot that it will automatically give you full power. This is good for the god mode glitch with friends as well but also I recommend using your wonder bar at this point if you do get it from the gobble gun machine so you can get yourself the wonder weapon. It may give you the ray gun so sadly if you get that then oh, it's unlucky for you but we're trying to get the jet weapon. You can build it if you want and you want to get yourself jug and you also want to get melee macchiato. Once you've got that you're completely set up for the glitch and also I did forget sorry a eh, pack a punch that's most important so you can actually get those critical kills on the zombies at higher rounds. Now you can get out of this glitch so you can just go ahead and get what you need to get into it then you can get out and get more later. Head over to the shed that's in the yard section of the map, turn around and look the opposite way from the shed, hold back on your analog stick and use your ether shroud. That's going to glitch you into the shed so congratulations you're now in a cool wall breach glitch. I'm going to show you how you can make this into a god mode glitch and how you can use this to your advantage on solo. Check your map and make sure all the zombies are piled up in front of the shed before you start shooting to make the most of your ammo that you have in your gun. Aim for the head through the wall and you're going to go ahead and get those criticals. It's a nice day today. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I also forgot to mention that jet gun is not needed by the way, it's just very useful and I'll show you why soon. But anyway, just keep continuing, get your critical kills until your ammo completely runs out. You can also get uh, power ups through this door as well, but when your ammo completely runs out, this is where your melee macchiato kicks in. You want to punch the door and you can kill the zombies through it and that's going to recharge your ether shroud at the bottom and it's also going to give you XP. So if you want to go high rounds you could just sit and do that you could just sit and use this melee macchiato instead of going for your camos but we're going for camos in this video as well as uh, xp so you want to lie down where i did and use your ether shroud while going forward at the same time in your analog and that's going to get you out of the glitch so now what you can do is buy ammo once you're out of ammo when you're out of the glitch and use the jet gun to pile up a whole bunch of zombies kill them all at once to get your ether shroud back and you can go back into the glitch again there's another way of doing this as well of getting in and out of the glitch and it does not include using the ether shroud and i'll show you that soon but you can do this over and over again you can go at later rounds get yourself free armor and you can go ahead and pack a punch you can also use the car pile up method well car training method I would say to go ahead and pile up all the zombies so you can use the jet gun to get that ether shroud back. I also recommend getting napalm burst and upgrading the rarity of your weapon as well as pack a punch in it as well and also pack a punch in the jet gun so it does more to go ahead and get yourself that ether shroud as quick as possible to get back into the shed. Now there's another way of doing this if you actually save and quit you can come back in and you will have your field upgrade if you had it from the round before you can go up to the shed and get in it straight away and buy ammo before you get back into the shed so this is a really good way of doing it and you can let the zombies pile up and get those critical kills and continue as normal but the only thing is when you're doing the save and quit you've got to let it go to the next round before you can save and quit again and when you run out of ammo all you want to do is just go ahead and save and quit when it's the next round and once you load back in simply run and get yourself more ammo and get back into glitch and go get those critical kills thanks for watching everyone smack a like subscribe if this was useful and i'll see you next time peace